Hello and welcome everyone to the second part of our uh, knee special test. This one's going to be for PCL um, or posterior collateral, um, sorry, posterior cruciate ligament. And all of these are going to be in supine position except for the Godfrey's one. So we'll do the Godfrey's one last where the patient will be uh, fully laying on their back. Um, every, everything else we'll do in uh, this position where the patient's sitting up. And um, let's start with posterior drawer test. Uh, as I said, all of these are test testing for P PCL, um, just as with anterior jaw test, uh, the position will be supine, uh, and we're gonna bend the knee at 90 degrees, and we're actually gonna sit on their foot to stabilize the leg. Uh, it's a bit uncomfortable, so I'm gonna pretend I'm sitting on it, and sit on the side. We're gonna place our thumbs on each side of the tibial tuberosity, and we're gonna push, uh, put our uh, uh, other digits uh, on, their, on the hamstring um, tendons and whereas um, the anterior jaw test we we're uh, pulling in the tibia in this case we're uh, pressing down on it and we really want to make sure that um, the uh, hamstrings are relaxed or else um, they're, they'll prevent the tibia from sliding and what you have to know is the PCL is that it's uh, more stable than the ACL, so it'll be harder to move. So um, any any laxity, any um, even slight laxity would be an indication of a PCL injury. So we're gonna put our fingers in the right position and press down. And there isn't any laxity, therefore the test is negative for any uh, PCL tears. Uh, next we're gonna have our skipping god freeze test external rotation record bottom and for this one um, I'm going to do both legs uh, because I've seen it done uh, both ways in line so um, the position is supine again pressing for PCL and we could just lift up one leg in this case uh, but we're going to do both because th that way we can uh, compare the two as we do it and you can either lift them up by I've seen it done by your great toes um, or uh, um, the our heels, our calcaneuses. I'm gonna do it by the calcaneuses because that's the way you Mr. Person taught us and uh, I just prefer this way. So I'm gonna grab them together and I'm gonna lift up uh, the, the legs and I'm gonna watch the knees as I do that. And if the knees are um, sagging down and are uh, externally rotated, that would indicate that external rotation or bottom test is positive and uh, that there is instability in the PCL or the PCL storm because as I would lift up the legs the PCL isn't there to hold up and we would just and the leg would appear almost hyperextended because um, the middle part of the knee would sag and it would appear hyperextended thus the test is called record bottom and external rotation because the knee would be slightly externally rotated so that's that and as I do it to Annabelle here her knees appear to be perfectly fine, they stay in place, um, they don't sag, so the, sh um, the external rotation record bottom test is negative and she doesn't appear to have any PCL tears. Um, next we have the Lockman's test, uh, this time for the PCL, we've done one for the ACL Lockman's test, um, similar to anterior jawer, but this time, again, position is supine, testing for the PCL, the knees can be bent in 30 degrees, right here. And for Lockman's, we really need a good grip. Uh, however, when it will be a slightly different gri grip from the uh, Lockman's for ACL, because this time, instead of pulling on the tibia, we're gonna be pushing down on it, um, uh, and we're gonna be pulling up on the femur. So uh, we need to get a really good grip here and perform it. And again, we're looking for laxity in this one, and uh, there doesn't appear to be any. Um, but if there were, that would indicate that the best positive for, again, any damage to the posterior cruciate ligament. Uh, finally, we're gonna do the Godfrey's test. I'm gonna have Annabelle slide forward a little bit and land her back. We don't have enough space here. We're gonna have half of the bed, but it should be fine because uh, I'm gonna raise one of her uh, legs. Oh, that also works. So, position is supine, uh, testing for the PCL. Godfrey's is pretty uh, self-explanatory. So we're gonna put the knee in, um, we want to make sure, first of all, that it's relaxed, that she doesn't flex any muscles, because again, that would prevent the uh, knee from sagging. Um, so, uh, 
uh, we're holding it up and the hip is flexed at 90 degrees and the knee is also flexed 90 degrees and um, as we're holding up at both the proximal tibia point and the distal tibia point we're going to let go of the proximal and we're going to watch the tibial tuberosity if it sinks or not and if it doesn't uh, sink down we're fine if it does that means that there's issue with PCL as it's not holding the, the tibia up and uh, the gravity is pulling on the tibia down as it would sink in this case it's fine um, so I'm gonna lower her leg and uh, yeah those were four tests for PCL and uh, I'll see you next video